Hello YouTube and welcome to spraying a van with Raptor paint with no experience. So, like I just said, I want my van Raptor painting. John from Cozy Adventures has given me the spur. He's going to oversee and help. But basically, we're going to paint this van with no experience whatsoever. I've never sprayed a van before. Um, so we've done all the prep work. Um, basically what I've seen from looking on the internet and what, what I've been told by John is with Raptor paint, it's, a, it's an easy paint to use. You know, pretty much anybody with a half ounce of common sense can, can spray with it if you've got the equipment, obviously. Um, so yeah, it's just down to your prep work. We have rubbed the van down, uh, primed any spots, you know, that needed, that needed primer. Um, with a few dings in the van which we've, which we've filled and sanded. Obviously there's going to be windows going in the side door. Um, and we're just getting into the prep work of it now. But basically up to this point, all we've done is rubbed it down with a sander. Uh, we've used an orbital sander and John has got an air sander that we've been uh, using and scotch pads to get into all the little nooks and crannies. Um, and we're nearly ready now to paint but this hasn't been too much of a hard job just rubbing it down it's a it's a long and arduous task and one that god you need a dust mask um you need to be wearing a dust mask or a respirator because it kicks off some crap and you do not want to be breathing that in now before i get into this video i do need to make one safety announcement i do not recommend you do what i am about to do and that is using two pack spray paint inside a building with no ventilation i'm sure that people with any experience in spraying are going to be jumping in the comments saying you absolute psychopath you must have a death wish um i've been out and brought a, a brand new respirator uh, to try and keep this out of my lungs because two pack spray paint on your lungs it's 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 not you know it's not ideal so do not copy what we are doing you should be doing this in a ventilated space if you want to do it take that on your own head but please make sure you're keeping this covered because you do not want to be breathing it in it is not good for your insides i can tell you that much but using this if, if you don't want to spray your van um using this method you know, you can do all the same prep work and then roll it. And apparently you get a pretty good um, coverage, especially using Raptor paint. So, you know, if you haven't got access to um, equipment to spray, then just by rubbing your van down, getting it night, roughed up nice. Um, as you can see, you don't want any of this shine. You need to take all the shine off your paintwork. Um, so it looks dull, like the bottom half of the door there. I say windows going in there so that's getting cut out anyway i do uh, i do need to do a little bit more around the edge where the window's going to bond to um but try and make sure there is no shine on your paintwork whatsoever if you've got any dints bumps you know gouges uh, you're going to want to get them filled which you can just get you know body filler uh, from any motorist discount store uh, if you want to go to hal frauds and and pay over the odds you could go there but i try to shop local i've got mine from a local shop down the road it's probably a couple of quid extra but I do like to keep money flowing in local businesses. So, we're almost done with the prep work. Um, as I say, a little bit more sanding here and there, uh, and then we're gonna have to start masking up. Um, that is the bit that I'm worried about. As I say, I have absolutely no experience in doing this, so I'm hopefully gonna get this part right. Um, struggling to get this out. Hopefully I'll be able to get that out. If not, I'm going to take a hammer to it shortly. But other than that, everything seems to be coming off and coming apart quite nicely. And it all seems to be working out well. Hopefully this is van is going to be raptor in goodness and covered in lovely raptor paint soon. Uh, we've gone for a green. I think it was similar-ish to the green of the van. A um, couple of reasons. Pure laziness. One, so we don't have to do the door shuts. Uh, I might end up painting them in afterwards, I'm not sure. Two, so I don't have to change the logbook with the DVLA because it'll still be green. Um, that's it really, quite like green. Stealth, stealth camo green. But uh, we're gonna start masking up now uh, and then hopefully, 
We're gonna paint tomorrow. Excited. We've got a lot of masking taping and brown papering to do, so there's only one thing for it. Masking montage. So we've got a lot of masking taping and brown papering to do, so there's only one thing for it. Masking montage. <laughs> Done. Record time. I think we're finished and ready for painting. I'll trip over that. I think we are. To say we are doing this with absolutely no experience in painting vans. So I'm going to go home, rest up, because tomorrow we're going to get painting. Wish us luck. Morning, everybody. It's spray day. I'm gonna get the fire going because it's freezing in here. We do not want to be painting in this temperature. Don't want to be doing anything in this temperature. Now, once that's going, we'll get everything rigged up and hopefully get painting.
Well, it's finished. It looks good. Well happy. What I've got to do now is take all the masking tape off and see how good uh, the masking skills are. Obviously this window looks really patchy because we didn't paint it. It's going to have a window in it and same down the other side. But I don't know if you can uh, see up there. We only did one coat on the roof. Uh, went for helicopters to see anyway, innit? it? Patchy window, again, didn't paint it. But, oh, to say I got a two minute tutorial of uh, John Paint in the back doors, I'm well happy. Let's peel off the masking tape. So yeah, tape off. I'll show you a quick uh, blip round it in a second. But honestly, if you've got access to a spray gun and a compressor, um, Raptor actually do a gun, which John said works better. And that's the gun that we used today. We did use the Raptor gun. He's used two different guns and the Raptor gun does work better. So ideally you'd want one of those, but you can use any spray gun. And if you've got access to it, don't be scared of doing this because as I say, a two minute tutorial off John, and I am well happy with the result of, of, of how this looks. Um, things I would have changed if I did this again. Oh, a bit of masking tape, I've missed that. Um, I'd get a better respirator, um, much better. You can't, you can't put a price. I'm just multitasking, sorry. Yeah, I can't multitask. I'll do that in a minute. You can't put a price on your health, and the word times at the beginning I could smell the paint. Uh, so and it came with spare filters, so I just rammed all the spare filters in there, which made it better. Um, but I would definitely, definitely get a um, a better respirator. Like I've got two more vans to do. Oh, some more masking tape there. Mm. Stop trying to multitask, you idiot. Um, I've got two more bands to do, I've got my IV code to do, and I've also got Kyle's IV code to do, so I will be investing in a much, much, much better respirator. If not, John's recommended a proper air-fed mask, he's like a couple of hundred quid, so the money that we're saving by respraying our own vans, I think a couple of hundred quid for an air-fed mask is nothing, you know, to, to your health, um, because this stuff is, oh, I mean, it smells beautiful, but it's like anything in life. The better it smells or tastes usually, the probably the worse it is. You know, like chocolate cake, bad for you. Chinese, bad for you. Two pack paint, bad for you. So I'll give you a quick walk around. But yeah, so if, if I was going to do it again, definitely a better respirator and my masking up um, when John came this morning, he pulled my, I'm still trying to multitask. It did pull my masking up a part of it. So they, there was a few little bits um, not putting a little union jack on the windows to support them better and a few areas that he wasn't um, you know massively happy about and he had to so uh, something to learn on for the next van uh, but yeah quick walk around anyway have a look at it have a look at it so we're about an hour after the last coat's gone on um, the reason I went green as I say is because pure laziness really but I didn't realise how much of a good match it was going to be. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's not a bad colour, that. Um, you know, so 
I might do the door shuts, I might not do the door shuts, but I'm dead chuffed with the, the paint, obviously window, but I'm really chuffed with how it's turned out. It's awesome texture. Let's see if we can get this in. So I'm going to 0.5 more than, there we go. I don't like that half a percent zoom because although you get everything in it, it makes the picture look a bit weird. We'll go back to normal. But so it's still drying. It's been done about an hour. Looks a bit shinier down here. One other thing I would definitely do next time is better lighting. Because after the first coat, we ended up going over a few little bits. So as soon as you shine a torch on it, you could see little bits of patches. So better lighting and a better respirator ready for next time, I think. Um, but other than that, don't be scared to use some Raptor paint because with a bit of bash, I've got a nice new paint, painted van. I think about 100 quid a box and I think this van took I think two or three boxes. Three boxes? Two boxes. I want to say it took two boxes. That's 200 quid. I could be wrong. I could be blatantly barefaced lying to you all. And it could have been three boxes. But still, even in three boxes, that's 300 quid. Um, plus your masking tape and your panel wipe and everything. But even if you blew 100 quid on all that stuff. 400 quid for a full respray, respray is not bad, is it? Uh, so we've got two more vans to paint. They won't be getting done anytime soon because... Having John's van in and then having my van in's give me a bit of a backlog so I need to get some actual work in the workshop and do some work on other people's vans. Um, but if you want to keep up to date on what we're doing, who we're working, what we're building, then please do subscribe to the channel. Any questions, put them in the comments below. I'm sure all the spray painters out there want to jump on and tell me uh, what I've done wrong. I'm open to... Uh, constructive criticism please do if you've got uh you know any critique that you can tell me that i could improve on for next time i am absolutely all ears or all eyes because i'll be reading it not listening to you but yeah get yourself in the comment section tell me what i could have done better uh or if you want to tell me i've done a good job you know i'm open to flattery as well see you soon everyone